The better you know your casino, the more you'll win at slots. In today's live stream, I'll briefly go over 10 ways to know a slot machine. 10 ways to know a slot machine is hot or cold. If you want more details in any of these approaches, just go ahead and meander through my free YouTube library. Hundreds of hours worth of videos to watch, three uh, hundreds of videos. Uh, and yes, so, you know, enjoy that free content. Or you can purchase my convenient, direct, and to the point course, step-by-step -step process for these slots topics and far more. And of course, I'll be taking your questions because this is a live stream. Hello to you watching this recording on YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, my Facebook profile page, or listening later to the audio on a podcast episode. Thank you for being here and be sure to subscribe or follow for notifications so you can have your questions answered the next time I do one of these. But either way, stick around and I'm sure it'll be of value to to you, even if you are watching this after the fact. For, but for those of you who are here live, thank you so much. And a special thanks to my moderators for helping with today's live stream. Thank you. If you have a question, if you have a question, let me put that in here. Yep, okay. Uh, if you have a question, use hashtag question. I'm gonna put a banner across the bottom of the screen. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to read it. And uh, this is so I can spot your question to me instead of comments in the live chat to each other. After all, this is also a community video where friends check in with lots of comments to one another, which is, which is great. Uh, they even discuss the content as I work my way through it. So please, if you have a question for me, start your comment with hashtag question. Um, welcome to the Tuesday edition of the Professor Slots live stream. I do three a week. You know how you know you know how you put a lot of time and energy into your slots play, but not for not nearly enough wins. Yeah, I get it. I'm here to help you change that. If you're trying to accelerate your slots momentum, become more profitable, and win more than ever before, today's live stream will help you move forward with confidence. I have over a decade of experience working with slots enthusiasts just like you, so you're in the right place. Hello, slots enthusiasts. It's great to hang out with you again for another Professor Slots live, live stream. I do every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern, Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern, and Saturday at noon Eastern to help you improve your slots performance, sleep with your winnings, and ultimately change your life for the better. And hopefully, and hopefully I'm going to change your life a little bit today so you can visit your casino and play slots smarter. And sometimes the best way we can do that to change slots enthusiasts lives for the better is when they enter a business relationship with us. They become a client. Uh, right. Uh, they become uh, a client. Uh, they buy my online course. They start getting coaching from us, whatever the case may be, because you are you, ha you have ways to take advantage of your casino, which we'll discuss today, which allows you to impact how much you win and then leave with your winnings. I'm your host, Dr. John Friedel, but please call me John. Improve your slots performance in 30 days or less with my 30 days to play slots smarter and win. You also get three free valuable bonuses, which I'll share with you now. Uh, and and so this is uh, this is where you would go, professorslots.com slash 30 days, and it would um, show you the uh, Slots IQ membership, which is one of the three free valuable bonuses that you'll get. Uh, that's for uh, community support and accountability. And visit that website, professorslots.com slash 30 days. 30 days to learn more about the free bonuses, course content, and testimonials from participants. If you're new to if if you're new, how these slot stream, these live streams work is I pick a topic. Uh, this today's was from someone who commented on my YouTube channel, was it yesterday? Uh, and and was like, well, could you talk about this? Okay. So I get it from that, comments on uh, Facebook or Twitter, emails I receive from fans or from my weekly discussions to my Slots IQ membership group. Each live stream, I talk about that Slots related topic for about 20 minutes and take your questions for the next hour and 40 minutes up to that. I hit a hard deadline at about two hours, which is when my voice tends to start giving out. So if you have, so get your questions as soon as I, you know, uh, cover today. I'll get to your questions as soon as I cover today's topic, but ask them now. It's a free service. It, it's, it, I don't know how to tell you that any, any clearer. It's a free service, uh, and I'll get to as many of your questions as I can as soon as possible. Okay, so 
let me switch back to this. And so, uh, um, right. So, you know, we have a busy live stream ahead of us with lots to go over. So let's get to my first tip on knowing if a slot machine is hot or cold. Number one is my five spin method. Actually, it's an advanced use of my five spin method, which works at every casino instead of just those casinos which give out tastes. Once you've learned the five spin method, a lot starts to happen, um, which is described in its name. <laughs> uh, something interesting happens. You, you get better at using it. The five spin method becomes a slot machine assessment tool. Not just that, but we're focused on uh, in this tip. It's 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 used as a slot machine assessment tool. It's also a casino assessment tool. But let's not you know get distracted. The five spin method bec becomes a slot machine assessment tool to start. Make five minimum bets on twenty slot machines. If there's a hot slot machine among them, you will know immediately. I say to start. Uh, I say to start because you'll soon know to move away from picking any slot machine and instead make better choices, which we'll discuss today with my other top topics uh, for knowing hot and cold uh, machines. But number two is, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, so number two is must tip. I see some of the questions. Uh, please ask your questions. Make sure you use hashtag question. Um, and, and they look like they're great questions, but I'll try to get through this topic uh, in a timely manner so I can get to your questions. Okay. Number two is must hit by progressive jackpots. Even when not labeled as such on the screen of a slot machine, with progressive jackpots, many casinos have set up their progressives to have unlabeled must hit by amounts. Learning what those amounts are takes time, but not bankroll. But if the screen is labeled with each progressive's must hit by amount, as a few of you have at your casinos, it takes very little of either time or bankroll. Label or unlabeled, it does take the virtue of patience. Number three is free play. What's your plan when you use free play from your casino? Do you waste it or do you take or do you make the most of it by evaluating slot machines which you've identified as candidate winning slot machines? But can you use free play this way? I mean, I'm I'm asking if your casino allows you to. If you pull your entire free play down from your players club to your slot machine, then spend it all. That's a waste. But you know how? Do you know how little you can pull to a, a single machine? Is it a minimum of five dollars, or is it less? The less you can pull down, the better. See if you can pull down only enough to make five to ten minimum bets. First, figure out which machines are candidate machines, then use your free play to to your advantage to test those candidates to find the few winners. Free play lets you do that at no cost to you, if. You have a plan, that is. Do you? Okay. Number four is huge promotions. Casinos want promotions to be attended by many players. That's why they have them. But casinos don't always get what they want. Sometimes promotions are duds. There's two great ways to take advantage of promotions. One uh, for successful promotions, but another for any promotion. I'll, I'll talk about this, the, the any promotion uh, in a moment. But for the successful promotions, if a pr promotion is well attended to the casino's delight, uh, you know, come back the next morning and see if they balance their accounting the next morning by giving away a big jackpot or two. The only cost for you should be getting up early to be at the casino before 6.30 a.m. the morning after a big promotion. You don't need to play. You need to watch. Is there anyone playing in the high limit room? And then, and then did they get a big win? If so, either play yourself or come back the morning after the casino's next big promotion, next successful promotion, to be that person winning. You can also win during promotions, but that's number eight, which I'll be getting to in a few minutes. Okay, so number five is the same as the morning after huge promotions, but instead of promotions, it's celebrations or holidays. Come on, everybody. Anybody know the next big holiday? Come on. <laughs> Anybody going to think back to the, uh, the the extreme excitement we all felt on Black Friday 2021, the Friday after Thanksgiving? 
I mean, it, it was, what was it like last year? Do you remember? I think you do remember. It was huge. Need to, you know, need I say more than just remind you to review your notes about last year's Thanksgiving events at your casinos. Those of you who've been taking my course, which I started offering early last year, you have a year's worth of records. What was Thanksgiving like? How would you take advantage of what happened last year to do better this year? So, but 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 those that remember, you had a year to plan. Uh, don't miss out on what worked at your casino last year. The rest of you, well, get ready to learn something this coming Black Friday, and remember to write it down so you can do it again, perhaps better next year. Uh, or take the course, and you'll have all that information and how to do all that. Um, <laughs> it, just use what works. Mm. Um, okay, number six is high limits tips. If you're new to my content, all these tips may seem separate, uh, but advanced users know a lot of them are related to each other. And the difference between newbies and advanced users isn't much. If my five spin method works at your casino, if your casino gives out taste, then optimizing my five spin method means visiting your high limit room to make $10 or $20 bets, five of them. Not on any machines, but candidate winning machines. It's the cheapest way to play high limit slots for hand pay jackpots. Okay, number seven is uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, Jason, you're great. <laughs> uh, 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 number seven is my deja vu method. My winning slots methods aren't designed to make you lucky. As a physicist, I don't even really believe in luck. Sorry, shocker. Uh, you know, it's all statistics. It's all uh, what's going on. And so, uh, you know, I my strategies are not designed to make you lucky. They're designed to take advantage of your casino's business marketing strategies. And not every casino uses every marketing approach. Coming back a week later after you've gotten a big win or seen someone else get a big win is how that this method works. One week later on the same slot machine, five minutes earlier, you play through the same time period as that jackpot a week ago and see if your odds are better because that's the casino's marketing plan. This is the totally easy, thoughtless method at work. Easy peasy. Number eight is the same as a deja vu method, but better because it is, uh, I have to keep up with the um, methods here. I'm using slides now. And uh, so yes, uh, here we are. Number eight is the same as a deja vu method, but better because it's not thoughtless. This method doesn't work at new to you casinos because you need to know your casino. What does it sound like when everyone is winning? What does it sound like when few are winning? And neither of the sound changes were caused by more people showing up or less people being, being there. It was the same number of people, but sometimes everybody's winning and sometimes they're not. So, you know, calibrate your ears to hear when everyone is winning. It might take a few visits to hear the different sound levels and, and on your favorite nights. But, you know, if you're not listening, you're really missing it. So, you know, listen. Uh, so that's when you play slots, when everybody is winning. When nobody is winning, that's when you find something else to do. Uh, but remain vigilant. I'd hate for you to have to abandon your expensive buffet just when you sit down to eat because suddenly everybody out on the casino floor is screaming with excitement and you abandon your buffet. Um, on the other hand, you probably will win and then you know be able to pay for that but it's a waste uh, so yes uh, so number nine is highly visible machines your casino might have up to three slot machines set to win in highly visible areas most casinos do this stand in front of a slot machine now turn around or a bunch of other players looking back back at you from a bar cafe or other machines or are you facing a wall you want the first not the second. But to use this approach well, you need to find the most visible machines. You need to scout your casino, think about what you're seeing, and then select candidate winning slot machines, and perhaps play them with my five spin method to find the one winner. Yes, some casinos have a bigger budget for this and have set up winnings at the end of every winning machines at the end of every row of machines. But that's not every casino. Every casino has up to three. And just so you know, somebody's probably sitting at it already. And that's a good thing. That's known as a clue. 
and you're on your way. Number 10 is to uh, make sure I keep up with the slides. Number 10 is banking the bonus. We all love bonuses, <laughs> even when it doesn't lead to much money. With this winning approach, it's not so much about finding a winning machine. My other methods can help with that, but more about knowing when to walk away and being able to leave with your winnings. Most people can't, you know. Uh, if you win a bonus, walk away with your winnings or pocket some of your winnings. I'm, I'm throwing you into the deep end here. I'm not, I'm not being easy on you. I'm saying walk away. If you ever never get it, keep any money, walk away, just run, get out. But if you win a bonus, um, you know, you could pocket some of your winnings. Again, this is hard. Okay. This is hard. Recognize it's hard. Um, pocket some of your winnings, half, more, 75%, what you came with. Make a plan and only play with the rest if you think the machine has more wins to give. This is advanced topic here. What's your plan if you win a bonus? Decide now. Then you only have to remember it later during all the excitement. And as a bonus, here's number 11. <laughs> uh, it's how to sit down at a slot machine and decide if it is hot or cold. Hopefully you, you've used one or more of my prior ways to identify it as a candidate winning machine or not. <laughs> you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. So I call this my tough love approach. Make 10 bets. And if you don't win anything at all, walk away. It's the tough love approach. If you do win anything at all in the first 10 bets, make another 10 bets for 20 total bets. Now, this is where the tough love approach really comes into play. You win something in those first 20 bets. Okay, you decided you decided if it was enough. Not, well, if I keep planning, playing, I have a feeling I might win enough. No, 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 no. You have already won enough in those first 20 bets. It's the tough love approach. If so, continue another 30 bets for 50 total bets and make the same judgment call. If you're winning enough for you, then make another 50 bets for 100 total bets. And again, decide if you're winning enough or if you're not. If you're not, walk away. If you are, this is the tough love approach. So these are my 11 uh, ways. And, and um, so uh, improve your slots performance, and slots performance in 30 days or less with my 30 days to play slots smarter and win. You also get three free valuable bonuses plus one month free to my Slots IQ membership where you'll get community support and accountability. Uh, and visit professorslots.com. I'm showing it on the screen now. Let me make it a little bigger. Uh, and to learn more about the free bonuses, course content, and testimonials from participants. Okay, so uh, welcome everybody. I, I kind of hit the mark on my uh, 20 minutes or so of uh, presenting and uh, welcome everybody. So let's see what the questions are uh, and start getting to those so people don't have to wait too much longer while I Rattled on about how to win at slots <laughs> as usual. Um, uh, and Frenzy says, uh, found a game called Cash Man Kingdom. Let's see. All right. Uh, uh, okay. Cash Man Kingdom and Coin Trio, both by Aristocrats. Okay. What are your thoughts on the instant feature, buying a bonus? Uh, yes. Was that, um, would more, was more than one person asking about that? I, I thought um, maybe it'll come up. Uh, so, so how, how this is working is there's this whole online slots community that's not the same as brick and mortar casinos and stuff, stuff is going on there. There's things that are popular and the slot manufacturers, they, they do both, right? They, they do the, the brick and mortar casinos, the, the, the modules, the, um, the cases, they, they, the cabinets, they call them, and they put those in the casinos, but they also make the games for online. And one of the things they're trying to say, it's not a one-to-one -one relationship, um, but they, they, some people like something a lot on online games, and it just fails at uh, in the casino and vice versa. There's very popular games in the Lightning Link, et cetera, that are very popular in the casino. But online, they're just like, you know, that's not, it, it, it's a different environment. So one of the things that's going on in online slots is pay for bonuses. 
you know, if you want a bonus, you can pay it. You know, it's normally a, a penny machine and, and you know, it's your, you, you might bet like $4.70. But if you want to spend 30 bucks, you will get a bonus. That's a feature. That's on online slots. And that's being brought by the slot machine manufacturers into casinos. Hey, guaranteed win. You, you know, if you really enjoy bonus bonus rounds, there's a way you can get them. So you will get them. Oh, uh, nobody said anything about winning money. You know, you probably won't get your $30 back. But, you know, people would rather it's 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 it's. They're so interested in bonuses that they're willing to give up winning anything with it. They they just enjoy the fun of a bonus. And, you know, it's, it's, you think about that and you're like, you know, the slot machine manufacturers, that's, that sounds like one of the interesting ideas. You know, there's plenty of people out there who'd be like, guaranteed bonus, sign me up. Uh, so, so what if it takes, um, you know, one seventh of my $200 bankroll? I got a bonus. Uh, and then they don't win. And and so it's all sort of like, how do they say um, it when you're doing negotiations? If everybody's a little bit unhappy, then you, then you did a good negotiation. <laughs> uh, so uh, so the, buying a bonus is um, a marketing scam. It is popular. Uh, I mean, I, I don't want to say scam. Uh, it is people want it. People got it. Uh, and I, I have nothing good to say about making money from that because people are kind of make the assumption, well, if I get a bonus, I will get money. But we're all kind of learning in the last year or two that no, you're not necessarily, uh, you know, you make a $4 and 70 cent bet, you get 636 games. I had a live stream on it like a month ago, uh, from somebody who was reporting back to me about, about, you know, 696 Free, uh, free play, you know, they, they made a, uh, our, our free games and they made, um, what was it, a, like a $4.70 bet and <laughs> they got back like three bucks. <laughs> um, and we, we've gone over some of the, uh, some of the things that are possible there. Um, and so, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, this is where I saw this. Uh, Camilla. Yes, another person had the same question. Uh, you can buy a bonus on some games. Yeah. Uh, t you know, what do you tell me what you think of it? Yes, you can buy a bonus. It's something that came from online slots and it's and it's here and it's coming out for more. Would you give up your bankroll? Um, this is not a win. This is just, you know, hey, I got free games. Nobody said anything about you winning money. Uh, and so it's bonuses are so popular right now. And I really do worry about their being taken advantage of uh, people being taken advantage of because of their high interest. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, high demand and you got it. And, and, uh, and Alan says five spin worked for me today. Uh, uh, whenever there's a casino prize giveaway, uh, it seems slots are super tight. Yes. Uh, I Yes, I had somebody comment on like the first comment or something like that on my holiday uh, schedule, my, my promotions uh, strategy. And they said, don't go during holidays. Don't go during big promotions. You don't win that way. And I was like, dude, you had to listen to at least 30 seconds of the video to say, to realize that I was saying, come the next morning. <laughs> so yes, uh, casino prizes, uh, giveaways, uh, tight uh, slots are super tight. Now, uh, it sometimes loosen up, loosens up when the crowd starts to like, they've spent a lot of money and they're starting to get a little angry and then kind of like it loosens up because casinos know their customers very well. If this is a typical Friday night with a typical Friday night giveaway or end of month, they've had hundreds of these every Friday night. They've got that, whether or not it's, they, they know their marketing data. They know what it's like on a winter day when it's snowing or raining or the sun is shining. They know what kind of response they'll get from the crowd. And they, it's, you know, again and again and again and again. So they use that. Um, people will get upset when nobody's winning and there's a lot of people there. And then everything kind of like gets better. 
uh, and everybody starts winning, and it just kind of like you're they're, the casino's working the crowd. So yes, they are super tight, but watch for when they make that switch for an hour, and then be careful not to play past when everybody's winning. And you can hear this with the sound method, uh, with the casino environment method. You can hear all this, and um, you know, watch for them to loosen it, but then tighten it back up again. Uh, Naomi, uh, thoughts on casino cruises, especially uh, victory uh, uh, cruises in Florida. Ah, so so not not you're talking day trips, okay? Um, going to Florida in December, considering going. Uh, so how this works is uh, there are people who go all the time on those day cruises. They 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 go out to international waters. There's there's no there's no um, uh, what do they call them? State rooms. There's no places to stay. It's all casino and maybe food. And people go out, and what happens? And it's a little, a little sad, a, a little funny, a little sad um, when uh, these people who go regularly get on board. They run from when they're kind of like through the gate, you know, is, what is it? Uh, run like somebody just left the gate open, you know, sort of like the the dog uh, memes they will run to their machine to be able to get on their their machine and play it on, on these cruises. And they'll abandon their canes, their walkers, their their um, powered vehicles. You know, they, they will abandon all that just to get to their machine and be on it for the entire trip. Um, and so if you can, are you a runner? <laughs> are you not afraid to kind of like, Beat them at that. Uh, you know, be aware that you should get there first to get ahead. But even then, it might not work out very well because you need to know which machine is the winner. They know which machines are better um, because they've gone and they've gone and they've gone. Uh, but you need to find out which one is the winner, and then on the second trip, beat them to that machine. And that's how you win on day cruises. Now, the other kinds of cruises, the the seven day cruises that we often get as um, a you know, great prize from casinos to go on a cruise. I've been to the one in, to Alaska, the one in uh, Western Caribbean. Why? I went to a hot place. I don't know. My sister was just got a divorce and she just, you know, I, I love my sister. And so I took her and um, I, I, I worked in the shadows on my book uh, and and she enjoyed herself and a lot in, in Jamaica and all those other places that we went to. And I was just thinking about Cozumel to, today and it was, you know, got in a Jeep and we went snorkeling. It was awesome. But, but um, so on the seven day cruises, what you want to do is uh, play slots like the, the first day is usually starts at noon. And so it's not a full day. So the second day is like the, I, I'll, I'll call it the, the first full day, there's a second full day. Those are the two days you want to play because anything after that, and one of my fans you know, contacted me and I was like, you, you said that in the past live stream and we went and my, went, my wife won $3,800 and then she put most of it away, but she kept a little to see whether or not she would win again later in the trip and it was all, nobody was winning. And so she verified both the win and the not winning part, but didn't lose all of her money. And I was I, you know, free advice. That's what that's what I'm all, I'm all about free advice. But you know, there's so much free advice that that's why I offer the course in order to take people through the step by step process in a convenient, fast, easy way. If I, you've got a trip coming in December, you could get through the course quickly um, in that time uh, in a month, thirty days. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, so that's the situation for Victory Cruises. It's a day trip, and there's a lot of people who who know the machine they want to get on and they get to their it fast. And you, you might not, if you haven't been before, I think your second trip might be the one that's better, uh, but you will have to do a little bit of running to get ahead of them. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you, Naomi, for your excellent question. Uh, Frenzy says range was from $50 to $250 to buy, depending on. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah. Um, uh, when I was hearing about it, uh, it was 30, 30 bucks that I was hearing about. Uh, yeah. $50, $250. Hey, somebody likes it, the, 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 it. They would test it out with 30 bucks. And then if anybody liked it, they would just, you know, whatever the market will bear. 
And given the excitement of everybody asking about it, uh, yeah, how much would of your bankroll would you uh, go to get a, a, a bonus? Um, uh, not that you would win money, but to get a bonus and, you know, 300 bucks. Uh, and the likelihood <laughs> of, of winning anything, you know, that's all kind of a thing in the past, but not everybody realizes uh, that's where the direction is going. Uh, Jason says, always play and uh, free play, always play in high limit. If total free play is $50 or more, $5 minimum bets on double diamond. <laughs> that, um, so Jason, we should mention that you're in Southwest Ohio, uh, Southwest Michigan. You're at Fire Keepers. So everybody, there's a double diamond in the high limit room at Fire Keepers Tribal Casino in Southwest Michigan. And, and if you see someone that looks like it might be a Jason, <laughs> so, Sitting at that machine, you can just say, you said I could. <laughs> um, and FF Chef says, I can attest to the deja vu method. A lot of people can. A lot of people can. Um, and question from uh, uh, Noel. Um, I'm, a little, I'm a little surprised that I don't have a bigger uh, like audience. Um, how many people are here today? Oh, 92. Wonderful. Uh, and I guess I picked a good topic name. Uh, but... It's it's like you know. Do you want to win or not? <laughs> and, uh, okay, so uh, right question from Noel. Uh, Noel question: Will the odds be better in the high limit versus the main floor for the same game in general? No. Uh, if you look at the return statistics for um, uh, recently, Iowa came out with. Uh, return statistics, monthly return statistics by slot machine denomination. But for years before that, I was looking at the six that provide that. And I I went looking uh, and, it, and at the diff six different uh, uh, states that have return statistics by slot machine denomination. One of the high limits, and I call high limits being above $1, one denomination High limit denomination was the best of all of them at half of those state return statistics. And then one of the low limit denominations, $1 or less, was the best. And I did that a couple of times, and it was always that way. Not all of the high limit number, high limit denominations were better. One of them was best. And not all of the low limit, the low limit denominations was, was best one of them was best and that's it's pretty evenly divided uh and so there's this myth out there and it's just a matter of misunderstanding math um oh well i you know it, it's kind of take it to extreme uh, i get more hand pays than high limit machines well yeah pretty much everything that you win on a hundred dollar machine is a hand pay you know it's pretty unusual not to get a hand pay uh, and, and so you know and, and people take that to mean the odds are better and it's like no, that's not how math works. <laughs> um, uh, and sale ready. I say ready. Haven't seen you in a while. Uh, when none of the 10 way, uh, ways uh, did not work well, what would have gone wrong during the uh, play that I might have done? Um, okay, so I back up. Uh, the, uh, the I briefly discussed each, each of these, and I'll take it um, as, as, you know, that you've tried all 10. Uh, maybe took the course, maybe I think you did, uh, uh, and and dug into each one because each one of them deserves attention, and I just briefly covered them. Uh, and uh, uh, so, um, did I answer your question, Noel? Uh, uh, if it, the odds are different depending on the denomination. Uh, and even if it is the same machine side by side on the high, on the low limit floor, it isn't going to have the same denomination. It could, but why would it? Um, it's a choice of the casino. Okay, so if they if ten ways don't work, um, you have to ask yourself: Is it possible to win? Are you in Iowa? Um, I have articles on every state, and let's see, I have an online resource I can share with you, uh, and you really need to learn whether or not um, your okay so I will I will put that in and so you can see it um, right so let's see where are we at there yes so 
professorslots.com slash online resource. I've spent years working on this. Um, and it's it's kind of like, well, it's helpful. <laughs> but was it really worth years of my time? Um, so every week I would go through alphabetically each state and I would look at the gaming regulations. And uh, if you go to professorslots.com slash, and then your two letter postal designation, uh, this will it will take you to this article, and one of the things like for instance uh, we can do Pennsylvania. Let's do Iowa. Let's do Iowa here. Or if you want to you know shout out what your state is, let's do Iowa. And uh, so this is Iowa slot machine casino gambling introduction relevant legal statutes private ownership, gaming board uh, then casinos casinos casinos, uh, gaming establishments nearby uh, what's across the border there's a Facebook group which I can't show you because it's private a uh, bunch of members there locals who are talking about their casino trip this last weekend and all of that so this is the theoretical payouts and return statistics section of this uh, and. Um, uh, so I, I give you links to the State Gaming Commission where you can find the gaming revenue reports. And then I try to highlight um, each of the uh, different um, casinos there and what the returns are. But it's something to remember is uh, there's, there's return statistics, but it's also theoretical payouts. The theoretical payout limit. A lot of people get this wrong somehow. Is it too hard of a math or, I, I'm, you know, the... There's a theoretical payout limit. That's the legal stuff that people talk about. People think that it's, you know, like, because Gaming Commission says what it is, and it's like, no, they say what the lower limit is, and they make it so low that it doesn't matter. But there's a few states uh, that put an upper limit on it. Like, Nevada has a 75% minimum theoretical payout limit, but they have no upper limit. So making a machine to win on the corner, um, you know, it's not illegal. There's no upper limit, but in Iowa there is. So if you go to Iowa and you're trying to find highly visible machines and you're trying to find a winner, legally, they can't offer it. I mean, casinos are like, you know, this is a great method, why can't we use it? Well, it's not legal. The upper theoretical limit is 99%. You can't even make it 100%. It has to be 90, 90% at most of the amount wagered per machine. So if you're trying to win in Iowa, there's your problem right there. Okay. Uh, or, you know, check your state, see what the rules are. These are why I have consultations, paid consultations, go over all of this and say, you know, if you live on the border between Iowa and South Dakota, go to South Dakota. The, the laws are better for you winning. Yeah. Uh, and so check to see what the gaming regulations are in your gaming jurisdiction and see if it's uh, <laughs> spell check uh, number 11. Uh, okay, I will check that. Thank you. Uh, just trying to see. Uh, Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, do you think this is the slot manufacturer from the feedback from their customers about bonus? Why wouldn't it be? It's a smart thing to do. People have, you know, there's, there, have you had a survey from the casino? That information is fed back to the uh, slot machine manufacturer. Not only that, but if you put your card in and you are enjoying playing bonus rounds, uh, and uh, do I have my, uh, do I not have a moderator? Moderators, come on. Uh, yeah, so um, I guess I don't have a moderator to take care of those awesome, awesome spam messages. Um, hmm. Right, you're all fired. <laughs> uh, um, but uh, so yes, casinos have your marketing data from going to um, yes, yeah. Sorry about not having a moderator on today. Um, I assume they would be here, um, but 
there are there's feedback they get in a couple of different forms some is directly from customers some are directly from the casino that says you know that bonus machine is played all the time and we have numbers to support it and the slot manufacturers are like you know okay so what can we do we can we can make more machines with better bonuses and if people are willing to pay and the casinos are like well i'm willing to pay for that and you know they have this negotiation and then um slot machine manufacturers well there's a couple of different ways we could do it so let's do it the way that it, it should be done and um yeah that that is it's a whole thing it's a whole big thing um yeah uh yeah bali's bought uh, dover downs yes um why am i drawing a blank here maine right uh i have one much less yes they give away more free yes they, they have to pay for the purchase they spend a lot of money on the purchase uh, and, um, you know, they want that back, uh, a great time. But, and, and the thing to remember is before it was sold in order to be sold, the casino who the operator, the owner uh, that had it, um, they were trying to make it lo look like everybody's happy here, everybody. So they let people win to improve their possibilities on getting bollies to purchase it. So the reason why you're, you know, win much less is two reasons. One is they were upping the wins to make everybody happy and telling the new buyer, well, everybody's happy. And then the second thing is the new buyer comes in and says, okay, we're not going to reduce it down to normal. We're going to, because, you know, it's high and we're going to reduce down. We're going to drop it even lower. So you basically see two effects. Um, I hope you had a good time winning. Uh, before Bali's bought it. It's going to be a, a few years. Uh, Cincinnati, downtown Cincinnati was installed by Horseshoe. Uh, and uh, it was, you know, great uh, uh, um, for the first year. I mean, awesome. I got to seven star status uh, in, at Caesars Rewards in six weeks. That's how good it was. Uh, and, uh, you know, never experienced anything like that and then the next year was pretty good pretty good uh basically did about the same thing only it took about eight months instead of six weeks so it was still winning but it was harder um and then the next year uh, i went back in i was writing a book at that point had won a car and i went back um and and saw some of my friends there and I, uh, I said, or one of them uh and i was like marty where where is everybody oh they all went into bankruptcy. So people, you know, they thought they were lucky. And then, you know, finally, I just bet more than, you know, what happened. So yeah, it's, 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 it's unfortunate. Um, where are my moderators? So Dustin, I am trying to find your question. Your question. Ah, uh, Dustin, please add a, um, you, you forgot a hashtag question because there's always these comments going back and forth. How hard is it to hit on a 50 cent slot machine? Um, what's your goal? So you, when you say 50 cent, are you saying 50 cent denomination and you're making, no, well, 50 cent machine or, or 50 cent bet? Um, the hardest one to win on is a penny machine. So I don't know if you're saying 50 credits on a penny machine for a 50 cent bet, or if you're saying a 50 cent denomination uh, and one or a hundred credits. So if it's a penny machine, it's the worst odds. Just everybody, all the returns say that. Uh, so if you can, if it's a multi-denomination machine, just make the same 50 cent bet, but change it over to two cents denomination. And that'll help you right there. Uh, it'll be a big difference. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm glad you, that you mentioned that, that you asked me to answer that. Um, I, I really do need that hashtag question. Um, uh, and let's see, Dover Downs. Uh, and uh, back in black. Hello, John. Uh, who are you talking to? My name's J-O-N. <laughs> Sorry. 
I have name jokes. Uh, we'll we'll be in Vegas in a couple of weeks, weeks of Thanksgiving, which casinos have the five spin method that you and others in your audience are aware of. We'll be trying as many as uh, as many of your strategies as, as I assume you went on to another one. Um, all of them. All casinos on the strip have it. That's what myself and my audience have found out. Now, it's adjustable. So you have to use the five spin method, minimum bets, even though they have taste, it's not about finding out if it has that they have taste. It's about, are they setting things to win right now? Avoid weekends. I have a playlist on uh, your Las Vegas visit. Maybe go listen to that. There's a pre-trip preparation. There's a during the trip, you know, what to do. And there's a post-trip because most people don't go to Vegas once. And so part of going to Vegas is preparing for the next trip. You can have a paid consultation with me. You can go to um, Professor Slot's consultant. I, I probably get more, um, no, put that in. And you can see it and you can decide. Um, that should come up. Yeah. Well, you can just go to, um, yeah. So let me share that. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. You can go here, see my mouse, uh, and you can go to consulting right there on professorslots.com and it'll take you to the page. You can read all about it. And I get a lot of people who are like, uh, can, you know, got a trip to Las Vegas coming. Seems like an investment to spend um, less than $200 uh, talking to you for an hour about what to do. Uh, and um, yeah, or you can just watch my free content. Nobody has to buy anything. Uh, and thank you, Michael, for uh, your help uh, in, in saying that. Um, I have to keep an eye on the... <laughs> uh, and yes, so Kevin Smith, are you my Kevin Smith, my uh, moderate, my, um, uh, my old boss at, in Connecticut? <laughs> Are you Kevin D. Smith? Uh, probably not. Um, uh, so I have a quick question. Have you noticed when you put in a $20 bill, your chances are better to get a bonus round or free spins versus putting in a $100 bill? I've noticed when I put in a $100 bill, I usually uh, will get a bonus up when my money is around $30 or so. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about that lately. When the money starts to run out, uh, they're winning. But this is, this is a perception thing. Um, it could be true, but it's definitely a perception thing. So um, uh, what I encourage is people to um, <laughs> um, uh, just, Sugar Moon Garden is late. I see you. Uh, um, if your records support it, if you see this every time, um, when we start running out of money, we kind of wake up a little bit and and that's how we're kind of like, well, I win, I win more when I'm almost out of money. Well, you're kind of like awake more. Uh, and um, I'm not saying it's not true, but there's, you got to like get objective about it instead of subjective about it. And I hope, um, you know, and it's easy enough to do that, but you have to sort of, uh, um, yeah, you, you, you have to uh, uh, sort of, um, you know, decide if the facts support it. Uh, everybody, if you're going to ask a question, make sure you ask hashtag question beforehand. Um, I'm looking at you, Sue. Uh, question: Does casino care if you haven't been if you'd haven't been visited? If if you haven't visited, um, uh, yeah, they, they 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 care about where their money comes from. Uh, if you have a, a large theo, if you have a large um, average day, daily theoretical, they might care a little bit more. You might, you know, if you have a host, they might call you and ask you where you've been, you know, come on in. What can we do to entice you? Otherwise, not so much. And, uh, uh, you know, there's when I had a and when I had a host, I had a nice conversation. I, I asked questions, like Professor Slots asked questions, right? So I asked questions. And one of them was, how many people have you been assigned? How many, you know, uh, people are you host to? And he said, that one host, he said, 900 people. And he said, some of them are 
you know, they're, they're all people who get a host. So the top tier or the second to top tier, but some of them are just visitors and they came one time and they're trying to get the casinos, trying to get them back. So he's on his list. He makes calls, he does the whole thing and he keeps track and it's all that, that sort of like system in place. Uh, and, uh, but you know, if it's, if you don't get a host, then it's, you kind of like get put into the system a little bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, um, I really wish my moderators were here today. Uh, I apologize for the awfulness of the spam. Uh, this is, uh, I, I blocked them, uh, but they've got uh, other accounts set up. So they just re-log in and re-log in and re-log in and re-log in. Oh, I should mention, um, be sure to like this live stream. It's kind of, a, <laughs> uh, I, I don't want to say I'm taking advantage of the, um, uh, taking advantage of the YouTube algorithm, like I take advantage of casinos, but uh, uh, liking is a good thing. Uh, so uh, please. Um, yep. Uh, and if you have a question, ask uh, hashtag uh, and, um, and I will see you later. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, sorry. I don't mean to say I'm, I'm leaving. Uh, I can't stand rude people. Uh, hashtag question. John, have you been to Montana? Where's Montana relative to Nevada? Did I drive through Montana to get to Nevada? I don't think so. Um, have you been and tried any of the little casinos on almost every corner of a decent sized town? Any strategies uh, on the uh, Kino games or the... Uh, kind of got cut off there. Um, uh, so, you know, if we go to, let's go to Montana. I'll share that up. Oh, come on, come on. You're, there it is. Okay. And so Montana, professorslots.com slash MT. So if we look at this, uh, um, there is gaming board. Usually, I uh, so there are bars. There's one thousand over one thousand bars, taverns, and other retailers. They have, must have a liquor license, uh, and uh, they offer a total of fifteen thousand video gaming machines. And what are the rules for them? Let's see. The rules are that the maximum theoretical payout limit is ninety two percent. What is that? The, like the lowest in the nation? That is the maximum on those machines. That uh, it's eighty percent. The minimum is eighty percent. Maximum is ninety-two percent. If you're not winning, it's not legally possible. I mean, you can have a win that would be more than you bet, and then you just get out. But any long-term play is not going to be over ninety percent, ninety-two percent return. Huh. That you know. That, that, Good to know, right? <laughs> what are your chances? Uh, yeah, so not a good thing. Uh, you can walk in, win, and just leave, and then you know you'll be ahead. But that ninety-two means the longer you play, that's what it's going to all average out to. Um, yeah, dun, 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 dun. Let's see questions. Yeah, what you might expect. Um, I'm in Reno, and the prices are going up uh, a lot here too. And I, I moved here three weeks ago, uh, and uh, it's cost around the world. Yeah, I get I go to the grocery store and I get sticker shock, and I'm like, wow, oh, you know. So, um, yeah, not going to be buying salmon anytime soon. Um, yeah. So Kevin Smith. Um, Kevin Smith, do you find uh, it when you place a twenty dollars bill in the slot machine you pour a bonus run or free spin? Uh, yeah, so I think that was a question that you asked before. When you get low in your bankroll, would you win more often? Um, it is possible, but I haven't found that myself. Um, certainly, I've won on my last, you know, credit, uh, and uh, that's I've experienced that. But I wouldn't say it was a trend. Um, I certainly do become like. Am I going to be able to stay? Am I going to be able to go? Oh, I got to win. Okay, I'm going to be able to stay. And that I remember that. Um, but I'm willing to believe it could happen, but I want to see data on it. 
I want an objective experience because the subjective is really having a big influence. This is where was this is yeah, yeah. Uh, I I crazy prices. Uh, Vegas Strip is overrated. Uh, costs are nationwide. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and well, um, uh, Le, Le, Laverne says every, something has changed. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's happening is we are entering the big season. In January, February, everybody goes on vacation, and uh, because and nobody, I mean, the casino employees go on vacation, uh, and yeah. Uh, Delaware, yes. Um, yeah, it's it's the ups and downs of the gaming industry. Uh, let's see here. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, question, how can a slot machine be considered tight loose if they operate by random number generator? Um, so that's an odd question. Um, uh, you don't know about the theoretical payout limits that um, half the states have. They have a minimum, there's a maximum, and casinos get to operate within those legal limits. So I'm not sure if you know what tight, and are you saying machines aren't tight or loose? And that doesn't exist because I saw an, uh, uh, an interview with Aristocrat re uh, recently on one of the other slots channels. And um, yeah, listen to who you're talking, you know, if you're going to listen to an interview like that, be careful of, of, you know, whether it's somebody who's bought and paid for by the casinos uh, telling you stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of denying out there. Um, there's that people are saying there's no such thing as, central servers there's no such thing as tight or loose it's all an illusion uh, and it's so sad to see that um, the way i figure it the people who are saying these things don't have uh, don't have an understanding of what tight and loose means because if they admitted that there were tight and loose machines they can't answer the question of how do you know which one's tight and which one's loose so they deny it exists at all and therefore they don't have to answer it yeah. Sad. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I, I've I've heard of it. So people are asking me where I've been and what I'm doing. So um, I go to casinos, but uh, and Wednesdays is my day these days. But now that I'm in Reno, um, would you like to see? This is let's see right there. That's Atlantis, and that's my primary casino. And over on the other side is Pepper Mill, and that's my secondary. And I'm thinking about, uh, I went to uh, Atlantis last Wednesday. Wednesday is my casino trip day, um, unless I'm traveling out of state, in which case that's the weekend because I need to <laughs> go between the live streams. Uh, between my noon at Saturday, Saturday at noon Eastern, and my 7 p.m. that Tuesdays, I, I have a chance to like get on a plane and go places like Louisiana and stuff. So, um, so I... I, t I have to explain to people that there are about 1,000 casinos uh, in the United States. And uh, uh, and so if I were to go to two a week, it would take me 10 years to get to all of them. Yes, I've heard of uh, Jake's 58 uh, on Long Island. Yeah, and, and if you join my New York uh, Slots Enthusiast Facebook group, you can talk to people that... Uh, <laughs> They could be there right now, <laughs> you know, or last weekend or, you know, tonight or tomorrow. Um, uh, so how many hand pays in 30 day span would you consider the machine location is hot? Uh, so, oh, uh, and I want to make sure I acknowledge. Let's see here. Yes. Uh, thank you, Rodney. <laughs> For your donation is very much appreciated. Uh, congrats on the move. Thanks for another uh, great live stream. You're very welcome. It's not done yet. Uh, so let's see, get back to where I was uh, on, have I been to Jake's? Uh, um, so you can check out uh, what other people think because I can't be at every casino. And if I am, it's like you know, not, not recent enough for last weekend for you, uh, for others. Um, uh, I, I got collected uh, locals. 
So locals go to my uh, 56, 57 Facebook groups, one for every U.S. state, territory, and federal district, and then plus one more, my Professor Slots Enthusiast Facebook group, which has over 18,000 members, uh, and they, they post their wins. Uh, and how they won, and you can ask them questions, you can search the results, and all of that. So yes, I, I have had a con consultation, and I've checked um, uh, that New York Slots Enthusiast Facebook group. Uh, you can go to Professor, let's see here. Um, yeah, let's do that. I will share, I can say it out loud, but some people need to, to see what I'm talking about. So here, if you type in professorslots.com, slash FB for Facebook, FB, uh, this will take you to my Facebook groups, which I don't show because they're private and you have to be a member to see it. Uh, and and go check it out. Go check out uh, uh, New York right there. And you can use the search tool and, and, and type Jake's or 58 and see what you get. Uh, last, I, last time I checked, there was quite a few. So uh, Key says, how many hand pays in a 30 day span would you consider the machine location is hot? Uh, I think you're kind of asking the wrong question. If you're making a profit, it's hot. If you have to pay for it, it's not. If you're losing money, even if with hand pays and you're losing money, it's a cold machine. You're kind of being tricked by having hand pays, because unless you're making a profit, and then how much, you know, when people win, you know, and they make a profit, what's, they would love to, you know, I asked them, so good enough? And they're like, no, I want more. <laughs> so uh, what is it that you consider to be profit? Um, I, uh, I have won, and when I was spending a lot of money trying to learn more about how to win instead of just like, you know, okay, I'm, I'm stable here. I've done both where I spent money to w learn to win. And that was a 30% profit. Then I sort of optimized and I said, okay, I'm going to stop learning for a little bit. And that's going to be a 50% profit. So between 30% and 50% is what winning is. I mean, yeah, as you can go in and win mega bucks for $10 million, I'm not counting that. I'm talking about a systematic, repeatable way to win. And uh, and, and uh, that's about 30 to 50%. So if, you're, if your hand pay is $1,000, walking out with $1,300, you're kind of like on the lower edge of, of what I think, you know, is, is winning. But if you walk out with, on a regular basis, $1,500, with you're coming in with $1,000, then you're kind of on the high end. And you found a hot machine. Yeah. A hashtag question, everybody, for... <laughs> I'm going to send a nasty message to my moderators to see where the heck they are. They, uh, my goodness. Um, uh, so, Allison, uh, what is the best way to gamble at a tribal casino? They all seem to be tight. Not all of them. Uh, they 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 have a lot of restrictions, more so than commercial cas uh, casinos. I I worry a lot more about commercial casinos, you know, being like, well, you know, we can run some risks. Where the tribal casino is sometimes the tribe's only source of income, and it would be like, you know, losing everything if they lost their casino. Uh, and so they 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 try to be more legal. But on the other hand, um, yes, there's a lot of people, um, like for instance, I'm not hearing good things about California tribal casinos. Uh, and those, all of those, um, the card rooms are commercial, but the um, uh, the, tri the casinos uh, with slots are, are tribal and I'm not hearing good things. Um, mostly what you wanna be careful of, and this is something that happens with tribal casinos, is they're on a, tr on a reservation. What does that mean? That means they're isolated that the next casino over is two hours away. That's how, that's how it is with Hard Rock Tampa. The nearest casino is two hours away. Uh, um, uh, Seminole Brighton, three hours south of Orlando. You know, it's in the middle of mangrove, uh, mangroves, I'm not saying that correctly, uh, middle of the swamp. And to get to it, you have to drive a long way. And the casinos know this. 
oh, well, you know, you either come here or you, uh, well, I guess you're just going to have to come here because you're not going to drive two to three hours away. And the casinos know that. But if you're in like Philadelphia and there's casinos right next to one another, they're competing with one another. Um, if you go to Professor, I, I explain all this actually on ABC News. So if you go to uh, ProfessorSlots.com, not to point out references here, but if you go to ProfessorSlots.com, slide all the way down to the bottom. Uh, and I, I can't show you because they had, this is uh, as featured on ABC 27. This is um, Evening News, ABC Evening News, Channel 27, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I gave an interview uh, and they, I, for like four hours and they used like two seconds of me. And I, it was when I made a joke about the face, you'll see it, but I, they did a good job. And one of the things at the very end that they talk about between the, um, the uh, anchors was why is Harrisburg, uh, Pen gaming uh, pen, uh, so tight. The Pennsylvania has return statistics, so you can just see the numbers. And when up in Pennsylvania, uh, up in Philadelphia, it's not so bad. It has to do with competition. What will the market bear? Yeah. Thanks for letting us know for uh, Laverne, and I'm I'm sorry that the, uh, that it's changed from what you remember. Uh, in, in Las Vegas, that's that's uh, fortunate. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, no doubt, uh, uh, trucking and gaming. No doubt, you've traveled that. No, I haven't been up that that far. Uh, um, I've been through there, but that was years ago, and I believe Montana licensed all their. Um, they had a legal. Uh, 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 games in bars and taverns, and then they licensed them, uh, and everybody, uh, you know, paid a three hundred dollar license, and now everybody's taxed, and the state is kind of getting money. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, so Matrix says, hello, love your videos. Your way of explaining has hooked me up with uh, your channel. Are online slots good or not? It's a wild, wild west out there. <laughs> they, they are good and not. <laughs> it's just a lot going on. And I dislike those online slots places, which are unregulated, because it's just like fly by night, gone tomorrow sort of things. So there are a few uh, places that you can game where it's, um, you know, it's safer and it's done well. Uh, if you go to professors, uh, and I, I guess I'm referencing, uh, you know, I've like I said, I've got a lot of stuff to show you. So if I go to professorslots.com slash podcast, um, podcast, let me share that with you. Uh, this is where I would recommend that you go see my free content. You can go read, you know, you go to professorslots.com slash podcast, but you can also um, go to any of your apps to find the Professor Slots, Play Slots, Play Slots Smarter and Win uh, a podcast. And what you're looking for is episode number, uh, what is it, 165, I think it was, 165, let me check, 165. Conversation about online slots with Jesse. Jesse is an IT specialist in security, so he knows about lock chains and all these other things. Is it was it was a long conversation, like an hour long, and we we talked we talked through online slots and what's going on there. So that's probably my best reference for you. Episode one sixty five, Jesse conversation about online slots, and and the basically the answer is good and not in extremely good, extremely bad. Uh, and Naomi says, is there a specific set of theoretical payout limits for cruise cruise casinos for international waters? No, but the thing to remember about um, uh, theoretical payout limits is that the casinos don't use them. They're usually set too low. Nevada's National, uh, the Nevada state average is about 92.7%. I'll call it 93%. Uh, Indiana's is 90%. And their theoretical payout minimum, the theoretical payout limit minimum is 75%. So they don't even get close to this crazy number 
that the state provides. Why don't they get close? Why don't they just take all the money they can? Well, that's naive to think that they would. Um, they would lose their customers. Casino, 2.5% is the difference between the best casino you've ever been to and the worst casino you've ever been to. I, I talk about it like if you go up 2.5%, you, you want to do a backflip, even though it might kill you, you'd want to do a backflip. That's how exciting 2.5% is. And so, uh, yeah, so... Um, <clears throat> Uh, uh, and so, uh, in international waters, they, they can make it zero, but they don't because everybody would get upset it's a ship. So would a mutiny be involved? So they know that if they want to stay in business, they have to keep it above a certain level because otherwise everybody would get a bad reputation and everybody would just like, you know, it would go out of business. And so people, casinos keep their reputation up by not bringing the slots theoretical payout limit too low, even when in states where there is no lower limit. Uh, Noah says, I would, I feel like you pay a bonus the second you put the money into the machine. Absolutely. If people would just ignore that, uh, so they'll take it away. I actually saw this and it costs more than, than you get. Yeah, very succinct. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but in the meantime, casinos and slot machine manufacturers make a buck. Uh, that's kind of how that works. It's a business. Yeah, but then that's um, uh, let's see. How long before you get out to your local? I was there last Wednesday. Uh, give us a casino report and will you take photos of your play? Um, if I have permission, uh, if I don't have permission, it's illegal. And if I have, so this is, you're, you're talking about a direction um, of my channel, which I have been considering, um, you know, in when I was in Ohio, uh, that many people were able to get a contract with the marketing department. And if they were, it took about three years to get it. And I kind of looked into it, but I didn't get one before I left Ohio three weeks ago. Um, and so you're talking about doing something which everybody else does, every other slots channel. That's all they know how to do. They don't know how to talk about finding winning machines or tight machines or what's going on there. Um, it is something that I consider uh, and um, I, I do new to me casino trip reports and I just describe, you know, I, I say, stand at the entrance, look that way, that Harris, North Kansas City, it's the one on the right. And, you know, uh, people do prefer to have like a, a photograph. I have photographs, but I can't share them publicly because I don't have permission from the casino. Um, and all these legal things, uh, you know, if you're a fly by night spammer or whatever, you know, you can do illegal things and there's just, it's a matter of staying ahead of the authorities and I'm nothing like that. Um, yeah. Uh, 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 Darren says he was at Jake's uh, 58 last night. Excellent. Uh, so that is something I didn't talk about, uh, Giants fan, uh, which is one of the, th the strategies on, um, there's a the details here. There's, there's a strategy for, um, uh, multi-denomination machines where you can make 10 bets on each denomination. And it's fairly easy to find out which one has the best odds. Yeah. It, this is also something I think people were calling for a little while there. There's names pop out, uh, terms, um, progressive betting, where you kind of like change the credits and you change, you know, it's, it's, uh, um, you know, if the data shows that it works great and it sounds like your friend is getting many hand pays, I hope that also means that he's getting a, a profit uh, or at least he's paying for it. Yeah, yeah, I, I, um, yeah, I actually, I, I, there's slots channels that are having um, casino executives come in and say that uh, any sort of loosening and tightening is a myth, but they're also um, uh, not saying that loosening and tightening is a myth. They're saying that, um, uh, not exactly, they're saying that, uh, you know, it doesn't um, change the odds when you run out of money, you know, you get down to the last credit, you know, and I, I, I'm, I, I, I feel strongly that the, um, uh, uh, 
you know, the casino's not doing something to you as you do it. My approach to all this is it's got to be regulated. It's got to be controlled. And so they just, they set it up last Friday because they know what Fridays are like. Oh, today we got rain. So, okay, if, you know, we'll run the program, the algorithm for, you know, Wednesday, rainy, rainy Fridays. Actually, we did get rain today. It's raining now in Reno. Uh, so, yeah, there's, there's, uh, as one of my moderators says, uh, you know, there is, um, you know, it's the internet and uh, you guys are smart. Uh, a lot of uh, the things that I've been asked lately on uh, some of my question and answers, my live streams, has been to fix what other slots channels are talking about. And honestly, that's not my job. You know, I, I'm not here to audit other channels and say which ones are right and which ones are wrong because I'm I'm ahead of them. And I'll just explain, you know, I, my job is not to like <laughs> correct um, the mistakes of others. Uh, and unfortunately, that means that you guys have to decide um, what makes sense, what doesn't. So, um, yeah, I, I will tell you what I know and, and, and share. And, and um, uh, one of the things that happens is when you have a chat, when you have a channel, um, uh, and you have more than a few uh, subscribers, uh, and you're doing well, the first thing that will happen is um, uh, <laughs> and uh, okay, I see the next question, but hang on. Um, uh, uh, you know, you you see these things, um, and you have to sort of like evaluate what's going what's going to happen. Uh, you know what what they're doing. I try to help out uh, and explain things, but I can't I can't you know censor other channels. You know that's wrong, and 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 I just. You know, there's been a lot of damage that's been put out uh, for ten years. There's a 2009 video. It's just appalling the amount of damage that's been done. Uh, so all I can do is just try to straighten the record. Um, I'd love to figure out how to meet up in uh, either Oklahoma or Louisiana next year. Um, well, oh, I should mention, people have been curious. My house has gotten a second offer. This one is a serious offer and we're under contract and um, maybe by the end of November that'll close if it's on schedule uh, and uh, that means I'm going to Oklahoma and Louisiana well it depends how much into December it's going to be so I'm, I'm those are the two trips that I want to make uh, and um, you know send me an email and I'll tell you where I'm going uh, Cachada in Louisiana and Windstar in Oklahoma and uh, there's a few fans there that have said, anytime you come, you know, let me know. Send me an email, John at Professor Slots. Uh, let me just share. This is the bot, the contact information. At, <laughs> and so you can just, uh, you know, right there is is where you would, uh, let me put that away for you. Uh, yeah, so right here is my email, John at Professor Slots.com. Even if you spelled it wrong and said J-O-H and it'd still go through. Have you personally won a jackpot? I won 90 uh, jackpots in 90 in nine months, and then I won a car. Uh, and um, I've since won uh, uh, jackpots on high limit machines and low limit machines. Yeah, sure. If I won on free play, oh man, that was a great story. Uh, so I, I had a um, I had a, uh, a promotion where I went to Caesars, a horseshoe actually, um, in the Caesars Rewards, and they said, um, how did I read the promotion and I was like, I got to go to this promotion. And they said, you will get as many entries into our promotion as you have had hand pays in the last three months. And uh, uh, the promotion was to get $2,000 hand pay or $2,000 free play. Uh, and they were going to give out 10 of each. And I couldn't figure out from the rules whether or not if I won one, would I be in the running for another one? I don't know. So, but I saw that they said as many entries as hand pays. So I went to the counter and I, I talk about this in the book. And I went to the counter and I said, um, you know, here's my card, uh, seven stars, top tier. Uh, and uh, the person looked at it and, you know, swiped it and looked at it and said 54 hand pays. And then he was like, looked at his you know, co-worker, 54 hand pays. And then he kind of like shouted from the rooftops. So that's sort of like, 54 hand pays. And I'm like, 
yeah. And uh, I had 54 entries. So I won $2,000 in free fry. I went to the high limit room. It took about 30 minutes to, to get it uh, on my card. Uh, and I went to the high limit room and I spent all of it. I did not win a hand pay with it, but I won $1,980 for my $2,000 in free play. Um, did I win a, uh, yes, I think I did. I, I have to remember the particulars of it and check my records, but I did win a, a hand pay on, on free play. It would, it would it's, it was wild. I mean, I'd get $250 of free play twice a week uh, and I would take it in. And I, I, I had to explain to my aerospace engineering coworkers, you know, that um, uh, I'm, I, it's like going to an ATM machine, only you don't know how much you're going to withdraw. You put the free play in, you play it, you get something. And I've gotten hand pays, absolutely. Yeah, I distinctly remember that. Um, Maurice says, any advice for Las Vegas next week? I was wondering if football games count on an event. Well, did it, it did in Cincinnati, certainly. The, the games would get out, they had hockey and they had football and they had baseball. And the casino's right next door in the downtown Cincinnati casino. And people would come over and that was just crazy nights. Um, and it was a lot of fun. But uh, there's also, uh, you know, it depends if when they get out, if those people are going to the casino, the casino has to be busy. That's what works. And usually the big events aren't a time to win. You can watch for stuff, but it's not like straight through. Usually it's like all tight, except for when everybody starts to get mad and then the casino like gives up a few wins. Like it happens every time they have one of those. But the next morning is what you want to watch for, uh, coming in before 6.30. Um, being done by 6.30. Uh, oh, didn't you not see the article? I think it was an article today uh, about how there was, uh, a, well, it, it doesn't support your, your question. It actually is against your question. Um, revenue, well, actually it doesn't say either way. There was a report about one of the slot machines at the Las Vegas airport that has brought in $1.6 billion in revenue. But they didn't say how much it had given out just how much it brought in uh, and not the difference, not the profit, not the loss. Uh, so yeah, um, uh, yeah. Um, it's possible, but um, understand that the airport is in charge of those slot machines and they're not a casino. It's like going to a, um, a, a, a convenience store. You know, the convenience, convenience store is not going to have the technology that can be purchased from slot machine manufacturers to run the casinos. It's just too expensive and airports aren't interested in that. So, yeah, you can win on them, but it's more luck based. I haven't found a winning strategy for airports like I have for cruise ships. Um, uh, airports, I they, there's no reason why they'd ever set that up. Yeah. Uh, Yep, I, I, I have been informed um, that Kashada has changed a lot of their of games uh, recently. Yeah. Uh, does uh, do getting and using a player's card really make a difference? Um, it doesn't make a difference. You see what I did there? Um, people are concerned that it would make a difference and it doesn't make a difference. Most hand pays are given out to people who have cards, who use cards when they play. Nothing, you can't really get around that. Um, if you're worried, then don't use it. All you're losing is free play or trips. But if you don't want trips, if you don't want other things, then there's no real loss to you. So, um, <clears throat> so yes, uh, where are we at here? Um, so, yes, uh, excellent. Um, so, improve your slots play in 30 days or less with my 30 days to play slot smarter and win. Uh, it, you'll get three free valuable bonuses plus one month free to my Slots IQ membership where you get community support and accountability. Visit professorslots.com slash 30 days to learn more about the free bonuses, course content, and testimonials from participants. And, uh, you know, okay, that's it. Uh, my voice is kind of getting a little rough here. Um, what a great live stream. Thank you so much. You'll see me in my next live stream on Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern. In the meantime, I highly recommend you watch this video on a totally legal trick you can use to win at slots. Bye.